so hello and welcome to the next edition of my Let's Plays of PlayStation 1 Demo Discs. This is, I believe, Disc 26, uh, December 1997. So there's some, uh, there's at least two big hitters on this disc, which you'll see in just a second. After the weird cube black and white square thing. So that's not the best quality, I can't even see it on my screen, so heaven knows how you're going to. Uh, what we have is, um, as you can see, Ace Combat 2, uh, Broken Sword 2, Colony Wars, Machine Hunter, uh, Tomb Raider 2, um, and then we've got a demo disc, a demo disc, a playable demo for Overboard again, this time for the two-player version. Um, we've got a trailer for Final Fantasy VII. Um, be interesting to see what that's like, considering how uh, the trailers look now nowadays. And finally, it's the first playable demo for Net Yarrows. This is a game called Tull, and um, I believe there's an advert. But I think that's the same advert as last time. Um, I'll have a double check. If it isn't, I'll show you. If it's not, I'll um, well, I won't show you. You can just watch the last video. Ha. So. I think we should start with um, the first demo on a disc, the featured demo, which is Tomb Raider 2. So let's go ahead now. The details inside guide Lara across the precious journey that is the Great Wall of China. Oh, perilous, not precious. So we'll see how that goes. The uh, descriptions are now much shorter because they've uh, got more stuff on the disc, so... Here we go. Jumpy jumpy. Gunny gunny. So jumpy jumpy. Fiery fiery. Yeah, you sound angry. Bad tiger. That was a bad tiger. I'll admit, I'm not having the easiest times here. This camera control is something else. this. Jeez. 
Jesus, that's close. How do we part with these controls? I mean, seriously, these are just... Shocking. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Yes, I am. Okay, well, that's nice. I will skip a lot of this. Hooray. Fine, it's further than I've been so far. <coughs> go, Lara, go. Where do I go now? First person view? Shall we have a look? Okay. Wow, those graphics are uh, something else. <coughs> this isn't a good sign, I'll be honest. <coughs> but it's fine. Because I'm sort of out. Sort of out. Sort of out. Where do we go? Tomb Raider was one of those games I never really got on with, if I'm honest. Okay, that's a tidbit. There we go. Okay, not that way then. Or that way. I just didn't like the fiddly controls, I don't think. I don't think I ever decided. Oh, that's that's a game I particularly want. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Lara's down here. And, okay, that's a that's a. There we go. God, that the water controls are terrible as well. There we go. Here we go. person view thing again. Oh. I can't. Interesting. I've got to go in that corner then, haven't I? Here we go. <laughs> 
Lara. Jumpy, jumpy. There we go. Oh, we get to pull a switch. Oh, doors open. Hooray. Doors not open. Good, there we go. Really have to press the jump on quite far in advance. Two birds. No key there. a jog, still not finding a bloody key. Oh, that's quite a lot of quite a lot of tearing there. Kitty. There we go. There we go. 
into the, uh, into the keyhole. Bad. Is a key. No, nothing there. Oh well, that didn't really work out. Fine. Up the stairs. to go into buildings without any doors, isn't it? There we go. No, there is no way out. Handy. There is. There we go. Come on, Lara. There we go. How is she pulling that? That is... There's not even any handhelds. <coughs> oh, what was... Oh. Well, that's not very good, is it? How's anyone ever going to swim in that? So there we go. That is Tomb Raider 2, starring Lara Croft. A November 1997 game. Definitely feels like it was made 19 years ago. My goodness, the... The controls were just... Abysmal. How did we ever deal with it. Okay, Ace Combat 2 is our next title. Um, remember Mamco's Ace Combat? Well, it's time to try out the sequel. Short and sweet. Never been very good at um, space combat games on uh, the PlayStation. Used to like Flight Simulator and uh, I think used to play IL-2 Sturmovic on the, uh, the PC with a joystick, but... <coughs> Never quite got the hang of it. Even with analog sticks. I don't know what I want to do with a. Uh... Okay, I found the map. Miss it. Oh dear. Well, make your mind up. Don't let him get away. Yeah, we've got a limited bird, so we can 
Bingo! I don't think they quite say bingo when they hit the planes down. Do they? Let me know. Oh, I'm very much upside down. Yeah, it's not, it's not bingo, is it though? I haven't got five in a row. Oh well, let me unstall then. There we go. Better than bingo. There he is. I've only got limited fuel, what do I do? I've got more, haven't I? Alright, let's try and find something to do. Spin around! Well, there's not really a lot else I can do. 10% fuel, there's literally, I'm in Greenland. 9% fuel, 30 seconds to go. What am I meant to do? Fire, 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 fire. Go. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Oh, I had a target to go to. Oh, I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think it's gonna end very soon. It's fine, it's fine, just... Oh. Well, that was a bit easier to control than I thought it was, although, um... That D-pad, man. So, there we go. Back to the demo front page. So, our next title um, is Colony Wars. Boasting some of the best visuals around, this is a great shooter. Well, I really went minimalistic for that. Here is Colony Wars. A title I don't really have much memory of, if I'm honest. I know it was a... Actually, I actually don't know if it was a PlayStation exclusive. It may have been on PC. I believe it was Cygnosis who made it. It was Cygnosis. Battle commences, 1997. This demo disc just makes it feel so old. Okay. I believe it's another shooter type game. Review briefing. Oh, that is the briefing. Okay, that's fair. That's fair enough. Navy missions within Galoniga something to be increasing. It is feared that protracted military incursions are planned. Intelligence data indicates concentrated targeting of planetary zones. Civilian areas are not excluded. Oh dear. Navy fighters are currently on course for Midas spaceport. Docked civilian transports are believed to be the target. Serious political civilian damage. Cargo destruction is also likely. The installed defense grid cannot be used due to proximity of civilian craft. Navy incursions within Galoniga, Galoniga, I guess, system are unacceptable. Intercept and destroy all enemy craft. Civilian vessels must be protected. Oh, really? Immediate response required. Okay. I'll do what I can. But I can't guarantee anything. I mean, you saw me during Ace Combat. That's not a good sound. Okay, this is a uh, very spacey.
Like that. Oh, I want my... Wait, no. This is not going very well, I'll be honest. Missile or something. Come on, Santa. I didn't mean it. Probably should have hired a professional. If I could have found those uh, homing missiles again, I might have done better. But hey ho. Can't win them all. I think we'll next go to Machine Hunter. Um, immerse yourself in IDOS's frantic blaster. Better than loaded? I don't know. Is it better than loaded? We'll have to find out. Another game I absolutely cannot remember for the life of me. Have to see how this goes. I'm assuming it's about hunting some machines. Oh, it's MGM. Oh, wow, that is um, difficult graphics. When you land at a dig, you need to rescue the hostage. There is a hidden lift to the mines which can only be reached by teleporter. Okay. Interesting. Okay, it's top down, so that's... Top down, and you fire in the direction of the arrow buttons. Well, not arrow buttons, but... It's basically X means I fired... No, hang on, that makes no sense at all. So I'm aiming up, X is me firing right, square I fire left, triangle I fire forward, a 
circle I also fire left. This game makes no sense. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Creatures, but you can never really tell, can you? He is covering a fair distance the way he's running. Look at that! Are oh, he leaping? Whoosh, whoosh. Look at him go! Oh my goodness, I'm now Spider-Man. What on earth? I guess he hunts machines. Hostage found. Objective. Spider creature, let's see where we can go now. Power level two. Got him. Oh dear. It's interesting. Seems to be having some power. Very well, did it? Oh, teleporter! Hidden teleporter! Yeah, we go. Oh crap, that wasn't a good idea. Shut down imminent. Oh dear. There we go. Back in spider creature person. Level two. Level two. Imagining you're meant to go.
Okay, run away. Run away fast. Low energy. Low energy. Low energy. Yep, this isn't going well, I can I can tell. It's fine. I'm about to die. Shutdown imminent. Oh your shutdown's imminent. Let me through energy. Phew. Oh. Not sure that helped. Level Exit! Complete. Yay! I made it! I thought I was a goner. I got 1% of all items and no percent of secrets. Well, there you go. That was Machine Hunter. I've completed the first level of Machine Hunter. Look for the full game in Summer 1997. This demo disc was in November 1997. <laughs> Possibly a delay. Massive explosions. Good selling point. Spectacular lighting effects. Maybe for the 90s. 16 different levels. Devious puzzles and secrets. Interesting level that. A giant fragile box. Two player split screen action. I'll be honest, I can barely tell what's going on in that screenshot. Demo credits. I've never seen that before. Okay. Thanks to all these people. I don't think it's that Chris Morris. I think it's another Chris Morris. Wow, this is like a... This is a more comprehensive credits than I thought for a demo disc. Cubins. Excitement of some names scrolling up a screen. Ah, special thanks. You know it's going to finish when the special thanks start. Or do you just come straight into IDOS? Yikes. Oh no, here we go. Thank you, Machine Hunter. So, we'll move on to Broken Sword 2 next. Broken Sword 2. Is this the best graphic adventure around? Why not try for yourself? The description's a little bit dull this time around, I'll be honest. I'm expecting a little bit more, uh, more fun for this one. I guess it's their first attempt at being uh, short and sweet. So they've gone completely straight.
must be the place. Professor Ubi's house. Looks pretty creepy. I'd been away from Paris and hadn't seen Nico for nearly six months. I wanted to celebrate our reunion, but she had other plans. An appointment with an archaeologist. Classic. Something to do with a Mayan stone she came across while researching the story. The guy who answered the door didn't look much like an archaeologist to me. I had a bad feeling about this. happens all the time to me when I go visit archaeologists. Oh, not a spider. That fire spread awfully quickly. Just like that rug's made out of very flammable material though. trailer or was that the actual demo? This is meant to be playable but um, I wonder if it's having difficulty. Oh no, here we go. That's a very long interlude. Central American Indians, I'd been knocked out and my girlfriend abducted. They failed in their attempts to kill me, and after carefully piecing together the clues, I eventually... A bit presumptuous there, George. I don't think she was your girlfriend. I thought you met her for the first time after six months. Oh, that... Oh, that's slow. Can I can speed that up? No. Oh, thank God, there's a speed up. Thank goodness. Oh, look at the doggy. Don't growl at me, doggy. Here, boy. As my dad used to say, I'm not into time, man. Okay. Well, you're too early. Okay. What? Goodness me, what is that? I have these very exotic panties. Okay. Take them away, you pervert! That's, um... 
did think it looked a bit strange. The big hands on the floor. Why aren't you in bed? I can explain everything. Never mind, I ain't that interested. What time do you open the gates? Seven. Do you mind if I hang out here until the docks open? Please yourself, but you'll have a long wait. It's Sunday, and tomorrow is the start of the national holiday. Everything is closed for a month. Well, wouldn't you just know it? Convenient. Does that dog belong to you? Nah, he comes with the job. I just feed him every now and then. More then than now, I'd say. What's the dog's name? Twenty. It's unusual for a dog. It's his registration number. Security dog number twenty. Twenty. Quite a name. That animal doesn't seem too hot for a guard dog. No? You haven't seen him in action. Doesn't look like he has the energy to wag his tail. Just like my wife. She's like a slug in a coma until she's annoyed. Then, she's like a tiger with a red up its ass. Sweet. That was a picture. Never painted. Heard of Condor Transglobal? Sure. They have a warehouse here. Well, could I take a look? Not until after the holidays. Come back in a month. Who closes the docks for a month? I have to make a delivery to Condor Transglobal. Where's your rig? Uh, about half a mile down the road. And you walked here? Jeez, are you some kind of nut? Nah, it was easy. I just put one foot in front of the other. Are you going to let me make my delivery? Not without the paperwork. You get the papers, you make your delivery, and I get a fat backhander. I was getting nowhere with the story about being a trucker. Just makes fake papers up. Do you know what kind of business Condor's involved in? I'll pay to guard the gate. Their business is none of mine. I'm looking for a young woman. At the dock? What kind of woman do you have in mind? You don't understand. It's my girlfriend I'm trying to find. Well, I ain't seen her, and you should tell her. The docks ain't no place for a young lady. They're dirty and they're dangerous. I'm certain my girlfriend was brought here when she was abducted. What? Your girl was kidnapped? Yeah. Struck down by an Indian with a poison dart. A poison dart, huh? I could tell he didn't believe me. Have you ever heard of Professor Ubie? Me? None of my friends are professors or anything like that. What's cooking? Beans. You know a man can live on nothing but beans. Not this one. Don't you ever get tired of eating beans? Sure I do. What do you take me for? And what's the alternative? Peas. I can't eat them too often, though. They play hell with my digestion. Good. Have you ever considered changing your diet? What's wrong with beans and beer? You need me to tell you? You're pumping out enough methane here to fill a dirigible. This is the dart that the Indian shot at my girlfriend. Sheesh! That's pretty weird, but I don't see why you'd expect to find her here. Take a look at this letter. That's sick. Did you write it? Oh, no. No, it's a letter from my girlfriend's admirer. If I was you, I'd smack him in the mouth. Well, that's not my style, but thanks for the advice. I gotta go now, but I'll be back. Can't wait. Why can't people just be more helpful? I mean, seriously. No shit. Interesting. What's that down there? Something bottom.
bottle, I gather. The bottle was just out of reach. Oh. Nothing was going to get me into that water if I could help it. You could lean further than that. God, you're so worse. Oh, that's a stick. Can use that stick. The okay. stick had a hook on one end. I figured it was a boat hook. For hooking boats. Very smart, George. Let's see if I can use that boat hook for bottle hooking. I think George would find that very exciting, really. Oh no, he's uh he's all for this. Good work, George. I just knew that boat hook would be useful for something. As for the bottle, even if I couldn't find a use for it, I cleaned up the dock a little. Environmentally friendly as well. What a guy. It was the beer bottle that slob of a watchman had dumped in the sea. Now half full of filthy dock water. The label read, Surge, the beer that clears your head. Nice. Oh. Up into the trapdoor. the coat. Can't really reach much, can you, George? I couldn't reach the bucket. I couldn't reach the packet. Let's try and get the key, shall we? Oh dear. Poor George. That to pick up. The panties would not have been thick enough to shield this level of heat. Interesting. Idea. I don't know. The dog went berserk for no apparent reason. He's trained to do that. The idea is to deter any would-be intruder. Oh, George, you're such a liar okay, sometimes. I'm sorry. That's okay. Just remember, he's a trained attack dog. A killer. He couldn't be a killer. Look how cute he is.
You dropped your beer bottle. Not me, pal. Yes, you did. I saw you drop it right in the sea. Don't you know better than to dump your trash in the ocean? Yeah, you tell him, George. I don't see no fish complaining. <laughs> see you later. I need to get in there without him noticing me. Maybe if I press the circle button. Gotcha! That'll learn you to leave things alone. Touche. Touche. Maybe something with a bottle of seawater might make this go a little bit. Yeah, let's try it. Pour some water down. That sounds like a good sign. Half filled with water. Maybe it would cool the cone down enough to touch it. Now I could see the pipe which formed the chimney. Okay, so what can I put in there? The bottle again, I guess. Hmm. The bottle blocked the chimney. The hut was filling up with smoke. Hot now. Come on. There we go. Dog food or beans? The packet was full of dog biscuits. Not, not beans then. Let me take the beans. Baked beans in ketchup. Hmm. Delicious. I wouldn't have considered wearing it if it had been the last coat on earth. It's a bit harsh. Someone had once told me a piece of coal brought you luck. Really? I thought Santa brought you coal if you were bad. Who was I to argue with irrational superstition? I think that's enough. Correctly, and I got some dog biscuits. Do some exciting things with. Hey, twenty, come and get it, boy. Be a very bad person. I'm sorry, Mr. Dog. I felt a slight twinge of conscience as I prepared to give the dog a dunking. It 
have soon passed. Oh, George. The dog doesn't know you better. It's gonna come up, right? There we go. As I'd expected, the dog could swim like a... Well, like a dog. There we go. Better find some dry land. Climb over the fence. Yeah. There's a fence climbing. Do some fence climbing. Getting past the night watchman and his dog had been easy. Little did I know that I was soon to be pitted against truly terrifying adversaries. Ruthless drug barons from the present day and bloodthirsty Mayan gods from many centuries ago. There we go, that was Broken Sword 2. A game I've played through quite a few times, so that was, um... Yeah. First time I played it through, I think it took me around about two hours to do that demo. Happily this time around did not take me two hours, otherwise this video would have been hella long. Okay, so the only other dead one we've got on here that is playable, that isn't net Euros, is the Overboard 2 player. Um, if before I edit it I find someone to play it with me, I will do so. If not, you've already seen Overboard few weeks ago, so it's like that with two players. Okay, so I'll read the description just in case. It's head-to-head -head action on the high seas in this two-player demo. As I said, very boring. So, the next thing to go through, I think, will be the video, which is Final Fantasy VII. As we all know, massive game for the PlayStation. Sony's first uh, Final Fantasy game. Five million people in Japan, can't be wrong. Check out this RPG. Let's have a look. As I said, I'm quite interested to see how this trailer goes, how it looks, because all I remember seeing when I was younger was screenshots. So, let's see what they do.
Did they just have square space soft on that? That was quite interesting. Um, seems redundant for really for a spoiler warning for a, a 997 game. And considering everyone knows the spoiler in 7. But that trailer spoiled Aerith's death. Like, it's in the video. You see her dead and Cloud putting her in the water. That's really quite bizarre in its own way. And then it really is very memorable uh, trailing music there. I don't think I would have been overly enticed with the music part of it at least, but hey, it turns out I was enticed by it, so, you know. Um, I'm going to play the Net Euros advert, but I'm pretty sure it's the same advert on the last disc, but let's see it. If it is, I'll keep it in. If it's not, I won't keep it in. No, I will go around. Oh my god, that is... This is a different one. Oh, Craigie, this is my, this is the famous PowerPoint Comic Sans. Incredibly bright demo. Oh my god. <laughs> In case you have any questions, you know. It's a pretty cool looking PlayStation. I'm very glad they went black for the rest of their line. PS2, PS3, PS4. What? Oh my god, what effect is this? I feel like I'm having a 90s induced fit. That was incredibly bright. And those question marks, man, they what were they? So, Net Yarrows, the uh the video to tell you how to get involved. And happily on this disc we have the very first Net Yarrows game that they gave away on the disc, so quite a regular thing that they did, uh, putting these games onto the demo discs from the magazine. Um, apologies for the yawn. It's quite dark and I'm tired. But one last thing to do, it's uh, the game Tunnel, made on Net Yarrows. I didn't even read the descriptions for those, did I? I apologise profusely. The Euros video just said, just how is SCE's DIY machine faring? This video gives an insight. What on earth was that? I might go back to that afterwards because that was insane. So Yarrow's tunnel game. The first games made using the Euros are here. Test out tunnel. So I will. Okay. So this is the full game. Go ahead and race. What track should we go on? Plenty of tracks. Let's randomize it. To this one, track two. Let's go for a full grid. Three laps. Let's go. Probably should set the control, shouldn't I? Ah, work it out, it's fine. Nice if I can go ahead and race. Nope, it has a. Uh, Feels like it's broken. So we are back. Um, 
I think the game crashed. I don't know if it because I picked too many cars. But I have to reset it. It gives me a good opportunity to listen to whatever the hell those crazy noises were. So let's listen carefully. Netto Yalove. Netto Yalove. Netto Yalove. They're saying net your Rosie. But it sounded quite creepy. It's not terrible looking for a net your Rosie game. It's a concept of racing. Let's go for another one. Okay, yeah. Maybe I didn't like the number of cars. Okay, cars. I say cars. Oh dear. Here we go. Hey, there's no damage meter, so that's pretty good. Slightly. Yes, I got up. I'm, I'm first. It won't last. I'm on lap two already. Again with seven other cars. Cars. Let's try again. No, it's the number of drivers that seems to completely bunk out the game. Which is a massive shame. Um, so, um, Unfortunately, Tunnel doesn't seem to like being played that much, so I'm going to cut that one short. I believe it's on another demo disc in the future, so we can always come back to that. Um, however, that is now it for this, uh, this December 1997 edition of PlayStation Demo Disc. Um, thanks for watching and going through. Uh, let me know what your favourite game was. Um, read this far. Um, personally, I've got Soft Soft Broken Sword 2, so that will uh, be my favourite from this disc. Um, I liked Ace Combat more than I thought I would. Um, Machine Hunter was so-so. Colony Wars... I like the idea. Spacefaring battles, but I couldn't really get on board with it. It's too fiddly controls and Tomb Raider 2 is a classic game but nowadays the controls are just abysmal it's impossible to play I'm afraid um, anyway that is it for this month uh, next time round um, for the Christmas 1997 edition uh, they for some reason did 13 magazines a year um, the title demo to look forward to is Crash Bandicoot 2. That is one of my favourite ever games. I really, really hope it still stands up. Anyway, um, until then, have a lovely week. Goodbye. <laughs>